What's up guys, Warlock here, and today I'm going to be going over all the changes made to the Midwinter Blight event in Diablo 4. Let's do it. So the Midwinter Blight event has been live for a few days now, and everybody's been having a really good time with it, but the farming seems to be a tad bit boring. So we got some updates from the devs to talk about how they're going to change that and make it more enjoyable for all the players. So first, let me break down what you're actually farming for. You're farming for some Blighted Fragments, Lost Heirlooms, and Red Cloaked trophies which you get from defeating the boss and you're going to trade those in for the precious cosmetics that you're going to get for the limited time, limited time only during this event however just farming kmar or kovashad seems to be a tad bit boring and how much resources you get actually seems to be uh, pretty low and i'm hoping that they really do increase it so the midwinter spoils actually don't give you as many rewards that you need for the for the actual event as you would have hoped as you can see here that Gillian's Brew does cost eight of the Midwinter Proofs. And you can see here that you're supposed to get some fragments and lost heirlooms in these caches. However, they were so low that it wasn't worth the eight Midwinter Proofs to actually do these. So on top of farming absolutely everything in the game, it seems to be it's going to be a long while before we get these. However, let's go over and see the changes. So hotfix number four, December 15, 2023, 1.2.3a. Pez Radar, or otherwise known as Adam, the lead community manager for Diablo, tweeted out, and then here are the proper updates. So to increase the guaranteed lost heirloom drops from Frigid Husk, which is the kind of statues that are just laying around all of Kmart, and when you pop them open, you used to only get one apiece, and although it would drop a few of these, right, you could get up to like five or even seven in totality from just one of these. Now, instead of every one single drop, it's gonna be two in World Tiers 1 and 2, and then three in World Tiers 3 and 4. So you're gonna be able to farm a lot more of these in Kmar or in the Midwinter Blight event. They also greatly increased the Blighted Fragments and Lost Heirlooms rewards from the Midwinter Nightmare Spoils caches, which is what we've seen. Now, they did say developer know that they wanted to give some feedback or they seen the feedback from the community that the materials can be a bit tedious to collect due to current drop rates, so they are boosting this up to help player rewards. However, if you go back into the game and just look inside of the... The cash is here. You are spending eight of your main resource that you are going to need. So you need the Midwinter Proofs. You are spending eight just to get Lost Heirlooms and Blighted Fragments when it does cost the Midwinter Proofs to get absolutely everything in the game. However, I don't think that this is a significant increase, but we're going to test it for you guys live here on the channel. So let's go ahead and spend eight for the Midwinter uh, Spoils cash. And we're just going to go ahead and pop this just to see what we can get. So it looks like we got nothing. We got absolutely nothing as far as resources from that. That's not good. So I went around Kmart and actually checked just to make sure I wasn't missing out on any other caches and double checked the patch notes, guys. And it just seems to be that these are the midwinter nightmare spoils. And it seems to be that there is no actual increase in the loot. I don't know if the patch has still bugged or something. I double checked to make sure that it was all updated. However, we might have to tweet this out to the devs just to make sure that this is actually working. With all the changes to the Midwinter Blight event, we also have some other changes that I overlooked coming to the Abadar of Zir. So as you can see here that they've made a lot of changes to the sigil powder cost when creating Bloodforge sigils and the amount of sigil powder dropped when completing a successful Abadar of Zir tier. This is allowing players more opportunities to craft more sigils for attempts in AOZ based off community feedback. A lot of the community felt that the cost of the sigils was too high. You can see the old cost here and here's the new cost and then the old drop totals and you're still gonna be getting, it's basically the equivalent, but now it costs much less so you're not as punished as much for when you consistently die. I felt that the old costs were perfectly fine as long as you're not dying. However, with the difficulty of the Arbiter of Zir, it is very, very tough to do these tiers and do these dungeons. So when it comes to the cost of sigils, if you are running through them and you're dying constantly, the cost is going to be too high considering how long it's going to take to actually sell these back. When selling a, an original uh, sigil to 
the uh, occultist you're only getting a few hundred if not that you're probably getting more like 30 or 40 sigil for a tier 100 which is going to take way too long to get to the 800 cap so i do think that this is a really really good change coming to diablo 4 just in general for those who are farming the abitur of zir so guys those are all the changes that have been implemented into the midwinter blight as well as the arbiter of zir this is just a quick news update just to make sure you guys understand the changes that have already happened if you guys didn't already know to hopefully make your playing experience better so if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like comment down below what do you guys think about these changes and then what else they could they do to improve the midwinter blight event please let me know down below we, they devs have really been uh, listening to our feedback so as long as we can continue to give them more feedback it'll make the game better and consider subscribing and turning on notifications for all gaming related content to diablo 4 and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace